Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable obfuscated uh, servers in your NordVPN control panel. Okay, so obfuscated servers uh, basically are there to hide the fact that you're using a VPN. Now, the reason people do that is because most VPNs are unbreakable, really. You can't analyze data. The, the channel is encrypted. It's very difficult to intercept it. You can't intercept and decrypt the data but you can detect the fact that a vpn is being used let me just show let's just get my node vpn up here um and um the reason for this is because every vpn as i say it encrypts traffic but it leaves a, a footprint and that's how most uh, network analyzing tools work they detect footprints so they look for patterns and a VPN stands out. So you're private, you're secure, but also people are aware you're using a VPN. Now, sometimes, in fact, most of the time, that doesn't matter. I mean, traffic is encrypted specifically on um, SSL connections as well. So if you go to a, a website with a little lock, um, most of the traffic there is encrypted too. Uh, but with a VPN, it's all encrypted. The whole thing is encrypted from the handshake to the bye-bye um, and the data transmission, your email, <clears throat> any applications or websites use that. The whole thing is encrypted. Okay, so obfuscated servers actually hides this behavior it changes the footprint so it's not obvious uh for any um anybody to detect that you're using a vpn uh now one of the most useful situation is when your isp blocks vpn isps are famous for blocking vpn services fortunately mine doesn't but i know from comments a lot of you out there do have these problems because um an isp wants to throttle traffic sometimes if you're streaming videos or using p2p sites or stuff like that you know so i just want to comply um control you okay so let me just quickly show you nordvpn here this is uh, my favorite vpn service it's got all the features and this is the basic gui and let's just zoom out here and you can see there's all the countries in the world now if you wanted to click on a normal vpn service i could just click on a country or i could pick one from my use list down here <clears throat> or select a country um i use my vpn all the time when i'm traveling i don't use any um wi-fi services without using my vpn but i, I don't trust them and also i use it a lot for bypassing geoblocks those are the restrictions based on country so bbc iplayer for instance my favorite um probably my favorite website uh is blocked outside the uk but if i use a vpn and a uk server i can watch that i tend to leave my netflix on a us subscription because it's got more stuff on it i i've never i haven't subscribed in the us but if you change to a us vpn service your standard netflix account wherever you got it from will turn into a us one while the vpn's enabled okay so here's all the countries here but um to find obfuscated servers that is uh, a vpn service that's hidden we need to go to speciality service now if we look here you can see speciality service there and it's listed dedicated ip double vpn on onion over vpn and p2p i'll do videos on all these um but no obfuscated service. So where is it? Now, VPN has obfuscated service. By the way, all of these uh, are included in the standard subscription. So if you want NordVPN, check out my discount link below. You'll get the best deal that's on the web. And um, it's got a lot of features. Uh, the only one that is not available without paying more money is dedicated IP address. You'll have to pay more for that because you, you'll get an IP address um just for your use whereas all the other vpn servers you're sharing the ip address with lots of other people okay enabling obfuscated service you need to find this little gear icon there it's bottom left and the desktop version could be in different places on the phone i forget or the tablet versions and you need to go to auto connect here and the first thing we need to do is to change the VPN protocol. Now, um, obfuscated servers are not available in the default one, which is usually set to Nordlinks. You can see it's recommended. 
<clears throat> so you'll need to go down here and you'll need to change it to open VPN TCP okay so change open VPN TCP there and then you need to go down to advanced and you'll see a setting here called obfuscated servers you can see it's got open VPN TCP IP there and you need to turn that on and just click OK and that should enable the feature right so let's just start it again let's go back to the connection screen now and we see we've got the same map here and there we have obfuscated servers so these are remember hidden VPN so if you're anywhere where you don't want people to know that you're using a VPN this is the service you need to use this is the setting you need to use now uh, a particular issue um, and one that NordVPN is good is you can still select the country fortunately now if you just click on obfuscated servers it's going to find um, the fastest usually the nearest obfuscated VPN server nearer you so that might not be in the right country so if I want to watch BBC iPlayer I need a UK server but I need an obfuscated UK VPN server so you just click on these three little buttons here next to the um, setting uh, this works a lot in um, NordVPN so if you're looking for something just look for those three little dots there and what we want to do is to change this to instead of fastest change it to United Kingdom for example we'll leave the server on the fastest so it'll find the fastest UK UK obfuscated VPN server Oof. and we just connect here and you can see now it's trying to connect to one of the obfuscated servers now um, remember that there, there might be a slight more of a delay um, using these servers there is a latency and an overhead to um, using this feature because it's actually managing the traffic so there is there is going to be a more delay it's usually not too bad uh, but it depends on the server you're using if you can be flexible and use any server and just let it choose the fastest out of all of them you'll get the best speed but it's not too bad it's not as fast as the real one but it's perfectly usable <clears throat> right so you can see it's connected to one of my United Kingdom's obfuscated servers there's a number there um, the IP address by the way might, won't just say it. these are just um, uh, the DNS names here so um, 2190 it might not be sorry the host names it might not be the actual IP address the IP address could change quite often in fact it will with an obfuscated server right let's just minimize that we've got the connection and let's just show you uh, BBC iPlayer just to show you that it does work so I'm connected to a UK obfuscated VPN server let's see if I can watch this whatever it is um, again you know it's not quite as quick as the standard if you're not being blocked and you're not worried about where you are and somebody blocking your VPN um, just use a normal UK VPN server and if using IP uh, BBC iPlayer look on my channel there's a list of um optimize servers for bbc iplayer let's just click on here it's say okay play without pg lock um and hopefully you can see it runs pretty well it's there's there's no real lag there it's streaming i can maximize that change probably change the um the definition quality uh what well, seems to work fine I'll just stop that there before I get a copyright claim and just close that. And you can see that's me using one of the UK obfuscated servers on NordVPN, so it works perfectly well there. Okay, right. I, hopefully that has answered a couple of questions and um, has introduced you to the wonderful world of obfuscated VPN services. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye for now.